Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have a video for you featuring Ugly Duckling nail products. We are going to go over all the gels that they offer. We are also going to go over some of their base products, their prep products, their brushes, even their nail lamp. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, my suggestions for use, as well as their suggestions for using their products as well. This is going to be a jam-packed video. I'm going to demo all the gels on my mom's nails as well as one on my own. So let's dive in and get started. I'm going to start by prepping my natural nails. So I have already pushed back my cuticles and I'm just going to go in with one of my favorite cuticle bits and clean everything up. Then I'm going to take the Ugly Duckling Buffer, which this is my first time using one of these and Ivory has been raving about these for years. I'm so glad that I got to use one because they are fantastic. This one is the medium coarse one and I am just using the medium side to remove any of the natural nail shine. Next, we're going to take the gel cleanser and I'm just going to spray a little bit on my wipe as well as on my nail here. And this is just going to remove any of the dust or debris as well as natural oils that are on my nail bed. Prep is the product that you're going to use next and this is a dehydrator as well as a cleanser for your natural nail bed so just take a little bit of it and put it on your nail. The Ugly Duckling Primer is an acidless primer but it's still really important that you only get it on the natural nail. Use a tiny tiny little amount of it. I'm going to take a really thin layer of the clear gel Clear gel is a crystal clear gel with no bubbles. It's recommended to lay it down before colors to avoid any staining on your natural nails, or you can create a full nail extension and sculpt with it. I'm also gonna use the gel brush that they offer as well. I have used this brush for years. It is one of my top like hard gel application brushes. I love how long the bristles are. I find that I can really lay the gel down nicely with it. And I also like how the edges have a little bit more of a beveled edge to them uh, so that when you're getting nice and tight to the cuticles, it works really well. The new Ugly Duckling nail lamp has a silver base in it versus the previous one that had a white base in it, which I prefer. But the number one thing that I like about this lamp is that the opening for it is nice and wide. It's so easy to get your hands in and out. My mom says she felt really comfortable in it as well. It has a 10, 30, 60, 90 setting as well as 120 and it has the leave on option. It does have an auto on and off setting as well as a cooling fan. So it's a really sleek looking lamp, but it also functions really well on my nail table too. There are three form options to choose from. First, we have the salon forms. Uh, so these are a really great everyday option. I have used these forms before and they are one of my top ones for sure. Now this form, the premium nail form, I had never used this one from Ugly Duckling and oh my goodness was I impressed with it. It is nice and sturdy, super, super sticky. And I feel like it almost does the work for you with creating that great C curve. These were so nice to use. The last form that they offer is the Z Extreme nail form. This form is designed more so for competition nails so if that is something that you're gravitating towards this would be a great option for you to try out the fufu pink gel is fantastic this is such a versatile product it has a really nice thin viscosity to it it's great for camouflaging of the nails uh, you can also create a free edge with it it hides any blemishes that might be on the nail or you can just use it as kind of the background for a french nail so i am just going to go in with a nice thin coat on top of that clear that i did and then I, at the same time i'm going to go and build just a short extension on my nail here and i have to say i really like the shade of pink that this is it has a really nice warm tone to it after i remove my form i'm just going to go in with a little bit of a bigger bead on top of that nail to give it a little bit more structure too to create the french white i am going to use their white gel so this is a little bit more of a thinner viscosity and it is great for a baby boomer nail because of that and also it can create a really nice french with it too so i'm just going to go in and do my sidewalls first and then i'm just going to drag some of the product down i do my french a couple different ways you're going to see it uh, how i'm doing it on my nails this way and then i also do it a little bit different on my mom as well uh, but mostly i'm just trying to get my product built up here and then when i have the products where i want it i'm just going to wipe off my brush and then do like a side swipe on the nails to create the french smile line after I've cured that, I'm gonna go back in with some of that Fufu Pink and just add a little bit more camouflage to it, cure it, and then go in with the clear again to encapsulate everything. This is really gonna clean up the French and make it look a lot better if it is encapsulated in clear, in my opinion. 
After I file and buff the nails, I'm going to go in with some of their no wipe top coat. This is a fantastic no wipe top coat. If you have not tried it, it has a great consistency. It is super shiny and it wears really well as well. And this is how the nail turned out after I've added my cuticle oil to it as well. Uh, really nice pink coverage and I like how that white applies too. So moving on to my mom's nails, we are going to do the exact same prep steps where we go in and remove the shine on her nails, spray down some of that gel cleanse, go in with our prep, then go in with our primer and get ready to apply the forms. Now, if you prefer a coverage pink that is a little bit darker and a little bit thicker, the Fairy Foo Foo pink is probably what you're gonna gravitate towards. It has a nice thick consistency. The shade color itself, it's a little bit softer than the Foo Foo pink that we saw previously. And this one is designed more so for competition nails, but it's definitely great to use for salon nails too because it does keep its shape. So I am just gonna go down and do some clear back on my mom's natural nail here. Um, cure that with a free edge, just a little little bit of a different way to do it and then go back in with a bigger bead of the fairy fufu pink and encapsulate this nail so I wanted you guys to see what the shade of this one looks like all on its own Okay, probably my favorite gel out of all of these is this pink. It is so airy, it is so creamy, it is so light. It is a nice kind of see-through pink type of gel. It's great for French fades or even full coverage, which is what I'm gonna show you guys here. This was my favorite gel to work with. I love the consistency of this, but because it is a little bit runnier, if you are going to create an extension with it, you're just gonna have to work pretty quickly with it uh, so that it doesn't bead into the cuticles but it is just such a soft gel to work with and I really like the shade of pink of it as well. The natural milky white is great for a baby boomer nail and also a French looking white if you want something that's a little bit softer. And this gel has a really nice consistency to it as well. It's not quite as runny and as airy as the pink gel, but it does have a great feel to it too and I really liked working with it. Now we touched on the clear gel a little bit as well, but I do think that this is likely the gel that you would get the most use out of because you can use it to encapsulate, you can use it to uh, sculpt a nice free edge, and typically when I sculpt nails, I prefer to use a clear because it doesn't change the color of the art or anything on top of it. The last nail that I'm going to show you guys is another way that you can do a French nail. So I have sculpted a clear extension on my mom's thumbnail here. I'm just going in here and adding a little bit of the pink to camouflage her natural nail and to make the white essentially pop out a little bit more. Extreme White Gel is your thicker viscosity gel, so it pairs really nice uh, with the Fairy Fufu Pink, which is what we're gonna use as the background here too. And it is designed for extreme shapes or competition nails because it holds the shape without self-leveling. So you guys saw how thick it was there. Um, it is easy enough to manipulate to create uh, like salon type of nails too. Uh, so this way to do a French is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the white down on my palette here, and then I'm going to create like a triangle Angle, I guess um, up to my mom's free edges and then go in and create my kind of swoop right in the middle uh, so I've seen this technique done quite a bit and Ivory was showing me that this is how she prefers to do her Frenches as well uh, now I did decide to kind of paint this on top of a finished file nail and this is not my preferred way to use this white I originally thought because it was um, a, th a thicker viscosity as well as a super bright white this might be the best way to apply it but if I was to do this nail again I would definitely go in and um, encapsulate this one a little bit better as well. So I'm doing the exact same thing that I did with that other French where I'm going to swipe my smile lines as well. Even though I created a fairly decent shape of my French nail just by painting it on, um, I did want to perfect it a little bit by swiping that smile line. My last step for all of these nails is to just give it a nice top coat with that no wipe top coat. I did want to show this process here too so you guys can see how easy this top coat applies. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Definitely comment below and let me know what you think of the Ugly Duckling gels. I know many of you guys have tried them so I would love to hear what your guys' feedback is on them as well. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!